Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Hi, in this video we're going to look at integration. This particular question actually did appear on an Edexcel paper, I think in 2018. Um, it's made a little bit trickier because effectively we've got this square root sign or square root of x. So I'm going to actually, before I start, I'm going to rewrite this because with integration what we're looking to do is to add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So I'm perfectly fine. This little symbol, by the way, means summation or integral. Um, I'm absolutely fine by two thirds, and then I've got x to the power of three. That's perfectly fine. However, with the square root of x, I'm going to make that x to the power of a half because it makes it much easier for me to work with. So I've just rewritten that with respect to x, and then I can start with my integration. So let's have a look at the first part of it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to use sort of big square brackets here. Two thirds I'm absolutely fine with. This little dot means multiply, and then I've got x. I'm going to add 1 to the index, so it becomes x to the power of 4, and then divide by the new index, which is 4. Okay, same process for everything else. I'm absolutely fine with a 6. I'm going to add 1 to the power of a half, which is x. I suggest you leave it as a fraction. It just does make your working a little bit easier, even though it looks a little untidy at this stage. Now, with 1, that's exactly the same as saying 1 to the power of x or 1x to the power of 0, because anything to the power of 0 is 1. So that's just basically 1. But I need to reintroduce that. So I add 1 to the index, so it becomes x or x to the power of 1, if you prefer. Now, the other thing to be aware of with integration is there's also a constant, and you will lose marks as you need to um, add the constant at the end. Now, in this particular case, there's no way of us working it out. However, it still exists and it's just good practice. And then really it's a case now of um, putting this in a little bit of an easier form. So let's have a look at the first bit of it. OK, I'm going to leave my square brackets in. That's going to be 2x to the 4 divided by 12. Now this one is a little bit trickier, but um, hopefully you can, um, when you're dividing by a fraction, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply and then um, uh, divide. Uh, we're going to switch and multiply. So that's going to be 2 times 6 is 12 divided by 3. That's going to be 4 x to the power of 3 over 2. If you're not sure about that, maybe get a little bit of piece of paper, have a go at this. I'm going to leave this x as it is, I'm going to leave the c as it is, and that's fine. And then really it's just a case of tidying this up a little bit. So um, the 2x to the power of 4 over 12, well that's going to become x to the power of 4 over 6. Okay, um, I'm going to leave the next one as it is, 4 to the power, uh, 4x to the power of 3 over 2, plus x, plus c, and that would be the answer to this particular question. Hopefully that's been okay for you, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Okay, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.